Okay, so I've done a few of these fire siren videos in the past. Most of the, uh, most of the time these are just simply down to pure luck being in the right place at the right time. And this is no exception. This one is a little bit different in that this happened at like 10 to 6 in the morning and it's winter time here here so it was dark and also I was nowhere near the siren when it went off um, I was at Parramatta railway station but you can hear especially on uh, if you're standing on the northbound platform you can hear the siren uh, at Plymouthton going off loud and clear because Plymouthton fire station is right uh, on the coastline uh, and and also so is Parramatta Station. It's all on that same coastline, so you can hear the sound travelling clearly across the water. You can, like I say, you won't really be able to see anything, but you'll be able to hear the siren going loud and clear. I just looked on the Fire Emergency New Zealand website. It appears that there were two um, fire calls, calls around that time, um, both relating to a non-fire emergency, uh, one one at around quarter to seven, uh, attended to by Pori Rua, and another one uh, at around seven o'clock, attended to by Plymouthton. Though, I know for a fact that the siren actually went off a good ten minutes um, before uh, seven o'clock. So, but the fact that they're in close proximity to each other and they are, and the fact that. Uh, they're two very close together stations. Makes me wonder if they were both responding to the same event. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, this was just pure luck. I was at Parramatta Station waiting for my train to go to work this morning. I actually missed uh, my normal train because my car's out of action at the moment. So I'm having to go to the station by bus instead of driving. Uh, the bus was late. I missed my normal train and I was actually waiting for another train. Uh, the weather's been pretty bad as well. We've had thunderstorms, but uh, it really made my day when I got to hear that siren go off loud and clear. clear. Uh, also, another note, um, people who've been following my siren videos for a long time will know that I did actually film the fire siren at Plymouthton Fire Station on one of its um, uh, regular weekly tests a number of years ago. Uh, the siren itself has actually been replaced since that video, but because the sirens that they use for fire stations here in New Zealand are standardised, um, they the new siren doesn't really sound any different to the old siren. And I'll uh, obviously I'll edit some pictures onto the screen for you to see uh, the, what the new siren looks like. But yeah, they have actually replaced that siren since the last time. I actually managed to get a decent recording of it. So, but there we go. Um, enjoy the clip. I I I, I uh, apologise that there's not much to actually see uh, in this clip. But when it comes to sirens, the sound the sound is always the most important thing with sirens. So, n so nonetheless, uh, enjoy the clip. Sirens in it. <laughs> Come on, give us another one. I suppose that's one positive thing to come out this morning. The bus was late, I missed my train, I've been kept awake half the night by thunderstorms, but at least I got to hear that. Sorry it's only in vertical mode, but that was all I had. <laughs> 